All right, all my Rogue Tech fans, welcome back. As you can see, we are on a brand new planet, as I said last mission. We are now on Slogum. Slogum? I'm not saying the last word, but anyhow, this is officially a four skull planet for the Lyrum Commonwealth. We will be facing the clannies, etc. We are down to 2.6 million sea bills. We also finished while well in route here. I kind of did a little off screen um, upgrades. We finished the drive system. We got the next drop tonnage upgrade. And now we are going to be starting the one additional mech and tank upgrade. All right, there we go. Now, we still got enough money for the financial report, but when I did get here, we did check out the um, the planet for the most part. We do have quite a few three and a half and four skull missions. We have four and a half skulls, and we have an official five skull mission, guys. So yeah, this planet is definitely going to be throwing some stuff our way, which is going to be absolutely phenomenal. I was looking at the hiring hall too. This caught my interest. We have a Mandalorian team here. We have Bobo, we have... I don't know which Mandalorian these two are, but they look pretty cool. But I definitely know that is a Bobo Fett's picture, I'm pretty sure. They correct me if I'm wrong, and they actually really do have some interesting stats. They are Assassin. This guy really caught my interest. He's Assassin for call shot and OP accuracy. Ex-military for more accuracy. This guy is also pretty good. He's got lance sight, sensors, call shot. He's also an assassin. And ex-military. This guy's also really good. Improve panic resistance. He'd be a good tanker. I think I'm going to hire Tora for a mech. And Jaster for a mech. And we're going to have to level them up, unfortunately. But... We will worry about that as we progress. We will let them passively level up because we get experience. Well, we'll get to leveling it up in a second. Wait a second. Engineering. Click. We will get more experience as we get training modules, which will basically 500,050 a day. And then the last one will be 800,000 cap at 80 a day. So we'll passively start getting um, that experience. Now, I do want to get into um, the drop tonnages also, because we're getting into heavies, su um, not super heavies yet, but we're getting into assault categories, so that's going to be 90, 80, 90, 100 tonners, so yeah, I think it's 85, 98, 95, and 100, could be wrong, we'll look at that later. So we're going to need, I think it's, uh, let's improve automation. Drop a. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so this will be after we get the next drop bay, which is good. All right, let's get on into a mission, guys. We need to start making some money. We are going to. We're going to start with this recovery in the Polars versus Comstar for the planetary government. Good salvage, very, very good salvage. It is going to be a four skull mission. And the other thing I do want to mention is our vulture came out of um, being made while we were traveling. So we are going to have to jump. Uh, do we get the drop tonnage upgrade? We did, but unfortunately we don't got anything we can put in it yet. That's the one we're working on now. But, as I was saying, the Vulture came out of being built, so we need to equip this bad boy now. So, we are going to do that right... Hmm. Do I want to equip the Vulture in this episode, or should we do it in a separate episode? And just make it like a, a mech building lab. That could be very interesting. I think we'll do it after this episode, and then for future builds, I'll make independent episodes. That way you guys can kind of either watch me play around with it, or you can actually just skip it and see it in action, or go for the highlights. 
That would save me episode time and I can focus more on doing the combats and the goofy hand motions and <gasps> like, oh my god, he hit me. Like, uh, the, the emotes, the emo rages. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, uh, we'll try that. We'll definitely try that. It'll be interesting. Yeah, the cat's happy too. She just had her, uh, lunch. She's very happy. She's a happy kitty. And she's probably going to jump up here at some point during this episode. So it is what it is, guys. But let's get into this mission. Let's get this recovery Reactor operation going. online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Command interface initiated. Now, I have not done any missions on this planet yet, so I do not know what the biome and the biodome is going to be like, so... So far, I do know what this map looks like, because we have done this map before. We're going to be right on top of everybody, literally. We might have something to the left up here, and then the, to the right. I have nothing on sensors. Okay. I am going to reserve. There we go. Let's see what we got. We got, oh, heavy rocket carrier and a mind disperser. Oh, shit. Yeah, part in the language, but that needs to go. There is an Izubo. Izula. What else do we got? There's an Orion in the rear. There's a longbow. There's a Corsair. Nice. With a, ro a heavy rotary rifle. And there's a Helios with a howitzer. Okay. This is a threat right there. We got to kill that rocket carrier. I don't know how yet, but... Uh... Oh my god. I'm actually going to reserve a couple more. Yeah, no hit chance on anybody. We're in really bad positions for this. Really bad positions. We could get the Corsair and turn it into an AMS boat. The Howitzer guy scares me too. Okay, Shadowhawk. Bring you around here. I don't think this thing won yet. Oh, it did. Right, let's get some incendiaries on him. See, we're going to have no hit chance on this guy. No matter what we do. I will ping him, though. I just want to try spacing everybody out the best we can. Because we're going to get a minefield dropped on us. We gotta start being, we got to be on the lookout for that stuff, too. Yeah, we're definitely going to be facing mines now, so... Stuff's going to get real. And unfortunately, we literally have to cross an entire forest. we have is the Vulcan can get up here fast enough. But I don't think anything else is going to be able to. Or 
Alright, let's stay out of line of sight for those guys. Should still be able to hit this guy. Let's do Hydra so we can get the force on fire. Okay, we're gonna reserve the Balkan. And I'm gonna reserve. I wanna get this guy to see if maybe he'll move down this way. I don't even know what turn he is, unfortunately. Well, that's a good thing we got the howitzer back there, because if we get the mines deployed on us, when he does that AoE, it is going to clear the mines for us. Maxi's still taking the brunt of it. Where's the rocket launcher? Alright, Orion's not going to have a hit chance on anybody for a while. There's the Corsair. Alright, Rocket Launcher is literally the last thing to go. He went the wrong way. Damn. Alright. This is going to be risky, but I think Grandpa might have enough firepower to rip his butt a new one. I'm Vigian too, so we get initiative. Fire. Oh my, got it. Bingo, big kill, big kill. He's going to continue on howling my maxi. I'm going to put it behind a rock. While we get everybody else up to the front line. Right. We got tandem, so let's fire him at the tank. Alright, my turn again. Uh, we need to field command. I'm reserving for now. Ah, you went center. Right on the avatar. Alright, the tank's gonna move and the Corsair's gonna move. Are those plasma missiles? What were those green? That's a thunderbolt. Okay. I don't want to recover the acid just yet. Let's sensor lock the longbow. We'll do the rockets. And we'll rotary it up. Get a bunch of heat on him, too. I think all that's left to move is the Orion, which cannot get a hit chance on anybody. Bulky's up and running, too. Uh, let me see. That's a good hit on the trap. Let's go for the trap. Fire. 
This thing's paper thin. Now we're gonna start bringing the big boys in. Laser, AMS, go hydras, fire. They'll really start heating them up. All right, this is Hunchy. Go for the bow. Precision, Warlord for sure. Fire. I want to try getting some Inferno ammo again. Like incendiary ammo for a rack. That did a lot of heat damage. And that's what we need. Alright, Percy. You got a Warlord. We're using it. Ultras. Fire. Take the trap. That crippled him. Alright. We got one more shot. Can we get anything else off? This is the Abbey. Oh, yeah. In the infinite worlds of Mortal Kombat. We're going to sensor lock him. Finish him. Boom. <laughs> no more thumper. No more artillery. The bow should be pretty crippled. We're literally just going to use the maxi as a, um, a fire supporter for now. We'll just shoot the arms. Alright, who's next? Unfortunately, it's our Gilly. But he doesn't have enough um, range to do anything. So, for movement speed. And the same thing for our SRM carrier. So hopefully we can get up this hill the next turn. The tank, on the other hand, can go around the corner. Nice. Let's go for the Corsair. Fire. Get some acid on them. Okay, my turn. Gilly still doesn't have a hit chance on anybody. Okay. I'm gonna reserve Gilly for now. Percy now can get a hit chance on the Orion if we go for the recovery right now. Light him up. Alright, the Hawk's up. Which I think we can take out the tank. Actually, was coming in a little closer to Corsair. I want to heat these guys up more. Some more Hydras. We got hit chance on the tank with Insinia. Let's go and prove fire. Alright, who's next? The Abbey's next. Which will definitely rip the Orion a new one. Medium pulses on the hunchy.
Light the tank up. Alright, Gilly's got a hit chance now if we go for the tank. The tank's taking a beating. Unfortunately, the SRM carrier cannot hit anything. Yeah, I'm not worried about a single AC shot. We can take a little damage. It's not too bad. All right, let's get into the flanks with the Vulcan. Corsair still got some uh, bite to him, so we're gonna see if we can take out that round. All right, this is the Maxi. We can get some indirect fire on the Corsair. Oh yeah, this is the Von Lick. The Corsair is going bye-bye. I want to do Acid SRMs. Actually, no, let's stick with the Alarms. Better hit chance. Fire. There goes the Corsair. I say the Longbow's got enough heat. I don't think he's going to do much. All right, let's mop up. All right, boom. We'll take the tank out and then we're going home. I'm not even moving. We're just gonna stand and shoot. Let's go home. 22 minutes in, let's get another mission up. Mission successful. Let's find our loot. Good experience across the board. What do we want to take? I mean, the heavy rocket carrier looked interesting, but I think it's a one-off. Well, it's got an MRM. I mean, that's some good firepower for it. It's an 80 tonner, though. We got the long... Oh, we got the full longbow. That could be a big mi missile... Uh, Missile support. Let's see if there's any good tech. What is this? Oh, it's an internal? Okay. I don't want a heavy rifle. We got mines. We got MRM-40. Yeah, fire control missile. You know, Pirate FC. You know what? We're going to take the longbow. I don't know if we will ever build it, but might as well have a full one. And then we can take... Let me see... We'll take the MRM. And let's take the missile control. And then we're just going to sell all the crap we don't need. Stab it. Learn. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. All 
right, here we go. Hopefully this didn't freeze. All right, let's repair the lands. What do we got? We got three days until everybody's back up and running in nine days till we get the next mech bay part. All right. Now nope, they're gonna get a, oh, no, 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 no. Inger got an injury. Damn it. How long is she out now? 10 days? Okay, we're gonna wait till she gets healed. Cause our drop bay, our, our bay is gonna get upgraded. All right, we got three more days. Boom. All right, we can now field the cat, maybe. We need to get the next drop um, tonnage, too. So that's going to be 11 days. Maybe we can field the cat now. All right, let's get into a mission. We are going to do... Let's do the three and a half battle in the tundra. Aha, we did get another vehicle slot. Nice. So not only can we field the cat if we get a pilot for her. I think we're going to put, that's accuracy for OP and call shot. I need like clustering. Like, if we're going to make somebody a missile boat pilot, we need clustering. That's clustering roll. Sensors. Clustering. There we go. Grandpa would be very good. And then for the Vulcan, we can do... Show. So we got Assassin X Military Officer. He's Assassin X Military. Torza can go into the uh, Vulcan. And I think we're overweight by 15. Yeah, we are. Damn. Okay, you know what? We are going to take out the Maxi. I want to run the cat. And I want to use um, Tora in the Valk. Yeah, I want to do this. Let's do it. Tor is going to be the weak link, but that's fine for this mission. The Vulcan is some good firepower, but for right now, I think the cat would be better. Definitely thinking the cat, yeah, definitely get some long range fire support going. We need indirect fire support, and we got Artemis too. That's the good thing. Once we find some Lerm 20s, then we'll really be set. Like, I think 15s and 20s are going to be a sweet spot for clan tech. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.
All right, here we go. Our first field run of our missile boat, guys. Let's see how this Command works. Command interface initiated. A nice big open map. You're gonna be up here in the hills, and we gotta cross this little basin. Yeah. Okay. So we got a lot of rough terrain. We're gonna be crossing. All right. Let's drop right here. We're not gonna get much movement value to start. But at least our units are good long rangers. All right, what did I see? Oh, we got, we got friendlies? Nah, that was just floating text. Okay, there's a fire starter with a ballista, griffin, a cataphract, and a centurion. Okay, looks like the standard LBX, flamers, medium, large, that's not bad. Medium, medium, PPC, AC, Nobody with that's any real of, of a threat, so we're gonna reserve until they move. I wanna get one of these guys out of evasion spawn. Alright, um, this guy moves, we'll be able to light him up. The maxi gone, the SRM carrier is going to be prime target. That thing is paper thin. That is not good. All right. Now we can start playing. Really? The cat's up? Hell yeah. Look at that hit chance. What's that hit chance on everybody else? Pretty good versus the fire starter. Light up the griffin. That's Artemis for you. Look at that. No evade. <laughs> Alright. Alright, who's next? Can I ping? Nope. I'll save the rockets. Fire. Alright, there goes Griffy. Gilly can finish the Griffin. Boom. Who's next? The Hunchy? Precision. Time six. Do it. There goes the stability in the knock. Boom. All right, Centurion. Hit the assault tank. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. Alright, let's get down here and start doing some damage. Uh, no, we're gonna go Hydras. Worst case, we light the forest on fire. Avatar has no hit chance, but he can nuke the Griffey. I like those, uh, those 30 hypers. I like them. We're going to keep them. Let's warlord this. We got good hit chance on, uh, the, the security. Definitely gonna need to get that guy's gunny up very fast. 
And get some tandems. Do armor. I might put tandems on the cat too. One bin of tandems would be really good. I don't know if we're going to keep the SRM carrier. I mean, we're going to keep it, but I don't know if we're going to keep fielding it, just simply because of how this is going to turn into a long-range fight. And that thing is going to need to get in close to alpha everybody. And I don't know if we will be able to get in close all the time. Go for the cat. What's that PPC on him? just sensor locked me. There's got to be something else up here I'm not seeing. Alright, this is the hockey. Light up the fire starter. Do it. Oh, Abby. Yes. Come around. Bye bye. Shh. Those things are just. Decimate. We're going to use your rockets this time. And we're going to sensor lock the fire starter. We will use improved. I just want him off the board. That's like a machine gun. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. Who's next? This is the pulse. Okay, this is a missile boat. I want the big boy off the grid. Do it. There goes the big boy. Those Artemis do a good job. And Yvonne Licker is going to finish this guy, probably. I love that spread. It's like a shotgun gauze rifle. That has to be one of the funnest tanks I've ever had in my life. And we're just straight in front of him. Right, you got a hit chance on the Centurion. Take it. No evasion is good. Can I get a hit chance on the Centurion? There we go. Where was that hit chance? Oh, right where I'm standing. Fire. I seriously wonder if there's a reinforcement lance that I'm not seeing. Get 
Did he seriously shoot a flamethrower at me? I mean, his name does say Firestarter, but still, that's kind of funny. All right, let's finish this. Do it. I literally don't even need to move. Well, we're gonna move just so we get a, a firing solution on him. Boom. Good hit, good hit, he's on. Uh, Percy, I want you to finish him. Fire. Not enough to kill him now. Or panic him out. Avatar can definitely finish him, I know that much. Those hyper gauzes are insane. And Gilly can definitely finish this guy. Fire. Let's go home. No? Yeah, I we're missing a lance. I know it. There's something else around here. I just don't know where. Gotta be back here. Or there's battle armor or something lurking. Gotta be back here. There's like four or five of them, I think. The only good thing is everything's gonna be able to pull. There they are. That's a battle armor. Let's ping everything. And the big boys will be able to cool down. We're just gonna reserve. Contacts inbound. Oh, it's all battle armor. This is gonna get old. Yeah. Get the cat up here. Got no hit chance whatsoever on battle armor. Okay, we got a hit chance on this one. Well, sort of. I get another ping off on all these guys. a raptor 
Come up here. Ping everybody. There we go. There's a marauder down there too. Fire. Hey! Goopy cat? You're gonna reserve. You, I don't want anywhere near this armor. You sensor lock the raptor, please. Fire. All right, there goes the mass. There goes the void. T3 patchwork. Wow, I would love to take that. All right, this is the hockey. Go Hydra's fire. All right, the Von Licker, Vigi. Here, fire. I hope we killed the battle armor too when we blew the mech up. Okay, what's the triple gauze battle armor? We got it some we got a little bit of a hit chance on the marauder. Fire. Oh, the Valkyrie's got a hit chance. Good. Fire. Just machine guns and flamers. They're in a forest, so I don't expect them to be able to move much. Or okay. Come on, Mario. Come up here. That's a lot of missiles. Good thing he shot an assault tank. Alright, who is this? This is my infernal guy. Really, the battle armor is gonna get go first? Go for the tank. That's what it's there for. That's a meat shield right there. All right. Marauder's gonna get hit chance first, but he's really, really overheated, so. Light him up. Good, we got the tag too. There's another battle armor. Hey, let's warlord. 
I'm gonna go for a call shot on the center torso. Lower his initiative a little. All right, who's next? Devon Licker. We're just gonna shoot the battle armor. The shadow can come up and do a follow-up on this. Use incendiaries. Good. Well, I should have put the heat on tomorrow. That's fine. We got this guy right here. You can light him up with incendiaries. Fire. There we go. You can get up here in range of the armor. Fire. No hit chance. All right, let me see. Let's try hitting that. We don't have anything but Artemis, unfortunately. Is it gonna be enough? Nope. I'm gonna slowly pick apart this armor. That's not, not even worth shooting the gauzes. There's the other armor. Fire it tomorrow. That's a toasty boy. Damn. Even with all that, he still was able to shoot. Battle armor. Worst addition to the game ever. Yes, it's iconic, but it's just annoying. Let's get some field command. Go for tomorrow. Keep that heat going on tomorrow. Turn the hunchy around. We're gonna stabilize you. Don't have warlord, unfortunately. And we used up all the precision. Go for the armor. Come on, pulses, do it. Couple more. One more down.
I was gonna ping, but I think we're just gonna get some more heat on the model. It still amazes me he gets to shoot as much with all that heat. Alright, Grandpa, can you please finish this guy? Pretty please. Got him. Now we just gotta get the guy in the corner. I'm gonna bid you, you to get you some initiative. Let's get you up here, Percy. Vigi, you also to get you initiative. We're gonna warlord you. Fire. I'm curious. What's the uh, MRM? Yeah, I want that morrow. I really do want that morrow. Oh wait, no, no, no! Don't do that. We're gonna Vigi you instead. Fire the mag shots. Valky can come down here, go for the armor. That's a pretty good Morrow setup. Couple of me four mediums and sixty MRMs. We still didn't have initiative. Unbelievable. Light him up. Boom, 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 boom. All right, the NAS is destroyed. Upper legs destroyed. All right, no evasion on him. So pretty much... Take out two lasers. We'll do the ultras. Ah, it's got an angel. Go improved. I'm going to sense a this armor. Fire. Good, 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 good. We're going to start picking apart this armor. You finish tomorrow. Fire. Oh. Last but not least is the armor. Good pulse hit. Oh, yeah, look at the mag shot hit chances. Bye bye. Whoa. Can I just stand and shoot? Come on, kill it. Oh, we need one more hit on it. With anything. All right, let's go home. Lots of good missions today, guys. Mission successful. Lots of good missions. Field tested the cat too. We did a really good job with the cat. So for loot, I think we're gonna take upper tier gear because I don't think we're gonna get any good mechs. 
Unless we get the Morrow on the board. That would be a nice addition to my lands. Alright. Good experience on everybody. He wants the Raptors. We will... I will accept that deal. I don't care about the Raptor. We only got one piece of the Morrow. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, let's see what else we got. Extended range mar magma lasers. There's an LBX. There's two MRM 30s. I want those. We got another Angel ECM. Two Bloodhounds. That's a very good deal. Uh, Gunny A and B support wood two gyro defenses. Wow. An ammo, no engines. Ooh, there's a lot of Apollo ammo. We're gonna take the Apollo. Evasion, ignore accuracy, 2.25 cluster hit on location. 240 shots. Requires Artemis. We'll do this. That's a good that's a good choice. We don't need the lasers. Heat sinks. Slick sweets can go too. Hey, we got the Morrow part. And we got some of the other little smaller stuff we can scrap. Alright, good deal. We got some good weapon systems now. We got choices. We could definitely do something with the vulture. I don't know what we'll do with the Vulture. We will look at that at the very next episode. We're making a lot, a lot of good progress. All right. All right, wrap up. What do we got? Three days until everything's back. Eight days for the shadow. All right. Let's push ahead with the upgrade. Let's go to engineering. All right. So that was more drop tonnage. I seriously don't think we can get much more drop tonnage. That's just 15% reduced salve or storage cost. All right, we're gonna make the cut here, guys. If you're enjoying this series, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all at the next one. Take care and happy hunting.